Unified Modeling Language, or UML, is a diagram that shows the relationship between classes. A UML diagram basically looks like this. It's a box with three sections, where the top section is the name of the class, the middle section are the name of the instance fields, and the bottom section is the name of the instance methods. And if you look at person, you can see that it has two fields, name and age, and then following the colon is the data type. Name is a string, age is an int. And the little hyphen means that they're both private. And the plus sign means that it's public. Also, the hashtag sign, the little pound sign, that means something is protected, which we'll talk about later on in a, in a different video what that means. But in the third box, you can see that person has four methods. Get name, get age, set name, set age, and get name and get age have no parameters, but get name returns a string and, and get age returns an integer, whereas set name and set age have, have one parameter. The parameter for set name is string and it doesn't return a value, so the return type is void. And the parameter for set age is an int, and that doesn't return a value and it also has a void return type. And notice that this student UML diagram is pointing to person. That means that student is a subclass of the class person. So student is a person. It's basically what it's saying. That's the relationship between student and person. Student has the field student ID, and that's an integer. But it also has the field's name and age. But we don't have to write that here because a student is a person. So by simply having that arrow pointing to the other diagram for person, we can infer that a student has a name, age, and student ID. And the student also has, in addition to all the get and set name and age methods, a student also has get and set student ID methods as well. And that's pretty much it for a UML diagram. So when you are creating a Java program and you determined all the different classes that you're gonna need, it's a good idea to create a UML diagram to help model your program so that you know which classes you need to create and how all those different classes are connected to each other.